take a while to look at a ticking clock and imagine someone from somewhere else doing the same thing. Do you think that time flows constantly the same between you and that other person? Well, that can be answered by the special theory of relativity. Special relativity, proposed by Albert Einstein, is a theory that deals with objects moving with respect to stationary or non-moving frames of reference, or also called inertial reference frames. To give an example of inertial reference frames, here we have two people, Kim and Roxy. Kim, although inside a moving vehicle, is stationary, while the vehicle is moving relative to her. While outside, both Kim and the vehicle are moving relative to Roxy. What does special relativity have to do with all of this? Well, its first postulate states that the laws of physics are the same in all inertial reference frames, which means that Kim and Roxy experience the laws of physics the same way. But what really sets them apart are their observations. Kim sees the road and Roxy going past her, while Roxy sees both the car and Kim passing by him. Both observations, although different, coexist in the same reality. And this is where time aspect kicks in, because the same also applies to time. It happens as a consequence of the theory's second postulate, which states that the speed of light in a vacuum remains the same for all of its observers. To Roxy, light takes longer time to travel than Kim. Therefore, the time moves slower for Kim than Roxy. This occurrence of time moving slower in fast objects is otherwise known as time dilation. One example showing time dilation is Sergei Krikalov, a Russian cosmonaut who traveled 0.02 seconds into his own future after orbiting the Earth from outer space at approximately 803 days at a speed of 17,500 miles per hour. Another would be one inside the Earth, which is the Hefalate heating experiment that compared the flow of time between two atomic clocks in a fast-moving plane and one position on the ground where the one on the plane moved consistently slower. Theoretically, if a person can move at a speed close to light and happen to survive, they come back to an Earth far into the future. The main idea of all of this is that the behavior of time can change and that time moves slower the faster an object is. The time on your clock might not be the same to another, depending on how significantly fast you or they are accelerating. And that time is not constant, since to a reference frame's velocity, time is relative.